All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve an expression that many people actually get wrong and which is very simple. So I have 10 divided by two times one plus four. And for those of you who actually wanna solve this, I have four answer choices. So I have A, which is one, B, which is nine, C, which is 25, and D, 30. So for those of you who want to solve this, you can go ahead and pause the video to solve this. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into the explanation. So to solve this, we're going to be using order of operations. And for order of operations, we can use the acronym PEMDAS. So we start from, we go from left to right here. So we first start with parentheses. So do we see any parentheses here? We do right here, one plus four. So we're gonna solve what's in the parentheses. So now I have 10 divided by two times one plus four, which is five. Next, we go to exponents. Well, there's no exponents here, so then we can move on. Next is multiplication and division. These two are grouped, so our addition and subtraction, they're grouped. So we first start with multiplication and division. Whichever comes first, we, we do that. So we have division and then we have multiplication, meaning we first start with division. So 10 divided by two is five. So now I have five times five. And the only thing left is multiplication, meaning that's all that there's left to do. So five times five is 25. So C, 25 is my answer. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and also share this video to your friends or family. See if they mess up or if they get it right. Thank you. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation 25 to the power of x minus 20 to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by dividing every term with 16 to the power of x. So these two cancel on my right-hand side. So I'm left with 25 to the power of x over 16 to the power of x minus 20 to the power of x over 16 to the power of x is equal to one. From here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 25 to the power of x over 16 to the power of x turns into 25 over 16 to the power of x. And 20 to the power of x over 16 to the power of x turns into 20 over 16 to the power of x. Now, 25 over 16, I'm going to rewrite as 5 squared over 4 squared. And 20 over 16, that just simplifies to 5 over 4. From here, 5 squared over 4 squared is the same thing as five over four squared. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So five over four to the power of two to the power of x turns into five over four to the power of x to the power of two. And from here, I'm going to let 5 over 4 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have y squared minus y is equal to 1. And this means that y squared minus y minus 1 equals 0. So I get two values of y if I plug this into the quadratic formula. I get y is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And y is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So recall how 5 over 4 to the power of x is equal to y. Well, if 5 over 4 to the power of x is equal to y, we can't make this equal to a negative number because you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal negative. So this is my equation here. And if I take the log base 5 over 4 on both sides, I get x is equal to log base five over four of one plus the square root of five over two. 